Hello everyone, welcome back to Terraria Let's Play Together. This is Clone Plays, and the survivalist is here as well. Yep, just in the right side of the map. Yep, and that we're separated because right at Spawn Town, there is a goblin army that approached that I've accidentally uh, almost been killed to multiple times now. But start off this episode, we're going to take care of it so we don't have to worry about being threatened by goblins anymore. Are you ready to go fight them? Yep. Alright, let's go make our way towards town then. I have to just fight my way through the desert first because I think we still have the spawn rates of uh, times 24, so it's a little hard to... No, spawn rate's fine. Get anywhere. Here we go. All right. Getting closer. Uh, I need to fix a bit of the terrain over here. It's hard to run and jump over. Angler's almost dead. Yeah, he uh, he almost died when I uh, joined the game. Oh my, this is, this is dangerous. <laughs> There's so many enemies. And the hardest ones to kind of deal with are the uh, archers. Thank you. I guess I should probably zoom out from this fight so the audience can actually see what's happening. This is what everything looks like. About to get wrecked here. It's a good thing that we can aim farther than the archers, and now I'm, now I'm able to keep them back and actually uh, survive this. The uh, reason you see us using Hellfire arrows is because while we were looking for rubies, I made a detour to the underworld. So now we have Hellfire you, arrows. You, yeah, and you found out that we can't pick up a Hellfire Forge yet, right? Correct. Okay. No skipping. Darn, what a shame. It's like they fixed the game to be in progression. Oh, lagging enemies. Almost got murdered by one. I think this goblin thief just turned into a goblin warrior. That was weird. Get out of here, sorcerer. No one likes you. Watch out, there's a sorcerer behind you. Got him. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with Chippy. The event. At least not here because we're just on a giant flat plane, but if we were like in an actual arena, it'd be a lot more fun. I'd die a lot more. I'd die way more than I'm currently doing, but I think it'd be way fun. Yeah, I kind of agree with Chippy. The events aren't as, at least for me, they're not as fun as they used to be. At least not here because we're just on a giant flat plane, but if we were like in an actual arena, it'd be a lot more fun. I'd die a lot more. I'd die way more than I'm currently doing, but I think it'd be way fun. Come on, get wrecked already, archers. The one downside is the fact that this these Hellfire arrows have the explosion and like the knockback, because every time they get knocked back, they don't get hit by my next arrow. Well, I have so many enemies that doesn't matter, and I'm against the wall. 
Oh, okay. It's probably just because I'm kind of on the outskirts of the event. I'm gonna, let me try and make my way back inward. And then I shouldn't have that problem. Because you basically just have to focus on the summoner, and then you can focus on the rest of the event. We're almost three quarters of the way done. I'm dead. Nice. Oh no! No! Oh. You have four guys on you on my screen, yet you're taking zero damage. Oh, like they were on top of me? Yeah. Oh. On my screen, they weren't, so... So, yeah. Oh, hello, sorcerer. Just decided to spawn in between this. Goodbye. Um, so what are you gonna- what are your plans for this episode? King Slime, maybe I Cthulhu if it summons. When do you want to do King Slime then? Um, we can do it pretty much right after this. Okay. We have a nice flat area that we can do it in. <laughs> Send some weakness. Goodbye. Um, so what are you gonna? What are your plans for this episode? King Slime, maybe I Cthulhu if it summons. When do you want to do King Slime then? Um, we can do it pretty much right after this. Okay. We have a nice flat area that we can do it in. <laughs> Since I'm still waiting for the traveling merchant to show up and give me the uh, pink spray. Oh, there's like a there's a block missing here. Or a tile on this thing, that's weird. I can't remember if I did that on purpose or not. It's a little more. Oh, I'm almost dead. Wow, I almost just uh, died to the archer. For some reason my game's being just a little little bit laggy. I might, when we're done with this event, might need to restart my computer. I haven't done that in a couple of days. Hey, the Trevor Merchant's here. I guess before I do that though, let me see what the Traveling Merchant's got when we defeat these last few enemies. I'm glad they retextured the goblins. They look way better than they used to. I will miss the old textures, but man. All the new ones look really good. All right, time to zoom back in. Uh, DPS meter, paint, paint sprayer, yes. life form analyzer. I am going yeah, to buy. I definitely need the paint sprayer. I just need to. Uh, this is what we've been doing for money. You get an expensive ore, and you just sell it. Just need to consult my. Uh, there. My wage for the day. <laughs> Sell a bunch. Do I? I wonder. I know I don't have that. Did we already have the life form analyzer and the DPS no. meter from before? No. Well, we have the DPS, but not the life form. Okay. So I'll take the life form. I'll take the leopard print and I'll buy 20 sock eggs. I don't know if I have that already. I think that's it. Alright, time to research. Oh, I got a door. What? I already had a paint sprayer research this whole time? Wow. <laughs> Alright then. Well, that was a bit of a shame. I could have been working on the mountain this whole time. Okay. Now I feel silly. Should I research the one ruby that I've got, or should we save that? Save it. Okay. That 
we come? Oh, we also did find the golfer. He's just chillaxing in the desert. Oh, you can just have that paint spray in your inventory. Nice. Paint sprayer on. All right. Now I just need to go buy a bunch of paint. Most likely grays and whites. So let me do that real quickly. Then uh, we're going to cut right here so that I can restart my computer and make sure that my uh, encoder on OBS no longer uh, freaks out. So I'm just going to quickly buy 999 of the white paint. 999 of the gray paint even though apparently i only need 100 um and then i think i'm gonna need black for the shadows probably gonna need brown as well to probably paint some patches of clay and then i need the paint roller the paint scraper and the paint brush Actually, well, technically I didn't need those, but now I have them anyway. Uh, are there any other colors you think I would need for the Mountain of the Guide project? Probably not. All right. So we'll cut right here. We'll be back. And when we come back, I think the first thing I'm actually going to do is try to fix this uh, statue for the merchant's house. And so, yeah, we'll be right back. Hello, welcome back. Uh, so we're gonna go make the King Slime Summoner. Yep, so I restarted my computer. So I'm gonna make the Slime Crown real quick, and then we, I can head off. Okay. Yep, so I restarted my computer, so after we do the King Slime fight, I will start working on the statue, and then after that, or rather the statues, because there's supposed to be two there, and then I'll start working on the Mountain of the Guide project. Then after that, start working on other massive projects. So let's go. You have everything you need, right? Yep. Okay. Get out of your slimes. An armor? It is. Yeah. Okay. I feel like you have better wings than I do. Even though I know you don't. Unless you have Minor a... Minor hate. They're hasty. Yeah. Oh, mine are just blood. Mine are just normal. There's no modifier on them. But yeah, any of you, if any of you watching have any uh, tips or suggestions you want us to try, leave them down in the comments. Uh, leaving a comment is always appreciated. It means that we know people are are watching the series. So if you have anything like that please let us know i'd catch up to you but right now i'm, I'm atta being attacked by a vulture or rather the vulture was being attacked by me because i'm way more powerful than the vulture oh uh let's block this water off which water are you talking about that way it doesn't flow down Obviously, you're talking about a different source of water because I am. Um, I can hear your explosions elsewhere. Aha, I see. Yep, so we got a crimson altar right here, which is pretty nice. Usually, every time I try to find one, at least for those of you who watched my previous Let's Play series of so single player, I had a hard time finding my uh, demon altar. There we go. Slime crown. Get torches. Oh. Get Need three out. more to make it permanent. Okay. There you go. There's another ruby. I didn't even notice I had spiky balls on me. Okay. Research. Do I need now let's go shirt? back and kill King Slime. Where do you want to do? You want to do in that open spot where the Mountain of the Guide project is? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any uh, potions I could use? I have a few researched, but not enough to uh, have them fully researched, I don't think. None that would help. Okay. Let's see if I have any that would help. Not looking like it. Well, I've got the normal healing potions. I've got 
Sake. Wait. When it says minor improvements to melee stats and lowered defense, does it lower your defense? That's what it says on the tin. That's not what it says. It just says minor improvements to melee stats and lowered defense. It doesn't say it lowers. It doesn't have to say that. <sighs> yes, it does. Oh, alright. I didn't know you were clicking it right then. I was still looking. I'm going to... I have some pad thigh and some bow. Oh, okay, apparently those cancel each other out. Let me grab another thing of bow then, because I had way more. Get wrecked, King Slime. Yeah, for those of you who saw the thumbnail for the last episode, I tried making little King Slime, but I couldn't find the sprite for his crown, so. Yeah. But he looks really nice with my resource pack. His uh, little, um, his texturing on the slime looks really nice. Nothing else has changed on him though. You know what we need? We need some defense turrets. <laughs> no, we don't. Take care of all these slimes. But this is going really well. I like this is going quite nicely. The problem is all these spiky blue slimes. They're as bad as uh, spiky ice slimes. So I remember when I was digging out those tunnels and I dug out the one that went through the ice biome. Those uh, spiky ice slimes were the bane of my existence. I might die here. Yeah. <laughs> I just dropped two platinum. I do like the addition of a boss bar. I wish they'd have a boss cursor, but I know I know why they wouldn't want that because I'd make it slightly a little too easy, probably. Come, don't kill it before I get back. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> but that means we can get the dryad now, right? No. Oh no. We have to have wait. you ever played this game before? No, I've never played this game. I'm a first timer. We had to defeat Eye of Cthulhu, right then? Yes. Okay. Let me just research all this stuff. So I'm definitely going to need way more than one stack of these paints, so might as well research them now. Yay! What'd you get? Um, where'd it go? Oh. Ooh, there's like a glowing texture around the treasure bag now. That looks nice. Ah, sweet. I got a decent amount of stuff. This uh, royal gel will definitely come in handy when I start building here, because slime spawn where the mountain of the guide project is going to be a ton. So, I did not get a slime mount though. So that kind of sucks, but take that. Take this. Come back. Ah, I'm gonna get you. Or not. All right. <laughs> Did get a solidifier though, so that's nice. I. That's uh, always a permanent drop. Is it? Okay, nice. Cause I use these in a personal world to make like an engine-looking thing for a a diesel truck. So I'm just gonna plant that there. Oh, I painted it brown. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not gonna fix that. Oh, did you just give me a slime mount? Yeah. Let saddle. Okay. Neat. Yeah. Uh, get that as well. What is that under? <laughs> Slimy. Uh. How do I? Huh. Maybe I should look up saddle then. Nope. Okay. Wait, did I put it on? No?
Did you hand me another saddle? It like just didn't research it or something. That was weird. Unless I'm blind. I might I might just be blind, but I don't see it at all. Wow, what the heck? Alright, well let's research that. Cause that's an accessory. Alright, I found that way easy. All oh, right, so yeah, that was King Slime. Do you think you just want to wait to do the Eye of Cthulhu when it spawns uh, naturally, right? Yeah. Uh, what was that? You turned into a robot. All right, well, I guess he has his mic muted. So I'm going to cut right here and start working on this statue, and I'll be back when I have a decent amount of progress done with that. So we'll be right back. All right, we're back, and this is what I've done to the uh, statue. So it looks like this now. I am oh, oh, I'm happy with it, kinda. It look, it definitely looks way better than the previous one. Still a lot that can be done to this, but not sure what else I can do to to make it look any better. So I'm gonna give up on this for the time being, and we're gonna start working on the Mountain of the Guide project. So we'll be right back with hopefully a time lapse. All right, everyone, so we're back. Unfortunately, uh, I wasn't able to do a time lapse for the uh, project, the mountain project, but I got a lot of work done on it. Basically, the entire uh, basic shape of it is done. So here's kind of what it looks like down here. And obviously, there's a lot of detail that's missing. So I was only able to do some really basic shaping and some basic detailing like you can see some of these platforms have some like uh, shadow texturing going on with them you can also notice all of these holes that are in the, the outside wooden platform kind of looks like so it's using the iron bricks and just uh, normal wood slash oak wood for the uh, support I'm gonna do a lot more with this in the future I'm gonna do a lot more honestly with a lot of these other things, but we're running out of time to record and edit this video so it can be out on time. So this is all the progress we've been able to make so far. And this is kind of like the rough shape of what the cave that the guide's gonna live in is gonna look like. I have a lot actually drawn up and detailed for this area. So this will probably be the main focus of next episode is this cave and then finishing up hopefully the rest of the mountain uh and maybe a sneak peek at the um, ice mountain base that we're gonna do for over here uh how do you feel about the mountain survivalist yeah it looks good it's just the background walls we need to find a way for natural light to come in because on the m mini map and just the map in general you can definitely tell there are holes yeah on the mini map the shadowing looks really good on most of these platforms for some reason on this one particularly it messes up even though i have plat or uh, i've painted those specific background walls to have the shadow this platform right here are optional but if you need to use them you can obviously get some bonus from them i don't know what that bonus is going to be in the future but they'll probably be bonus Here's kind of what the outside wooden platform kind of looks like. So it's using the iron bricks and just uh, normal wood slash oak wood for the uh, support. I'm going to do a lot more with this in the future. I'm going to do a lot more, honestly, with a lot of these other things. But we're running out of time to record and edit this video so it can be out on time. So this is all the progress we've been able to make so far. And this is kind of like the rough shape of what the cave that the guide's going to live in is going to look like. I have a lot actually drawn up and detailed for this area. So this will probably be the main focus of next episode. Is this cave and then finishing up hopefully the rest of the mountain. Uh, and maybe a sneak peek at the uh, ice mountain base that we're going to do for over here. 
Uh, how do you feel about the mountain survivalist? Yeah, it looks good. It's just a... the background walls. We need to find a way for natural light to come in because on the mini map and just the map in general, you can definitely tell there are holes. Yeah, on the mini map, the shadowing looks really good on most of these platforms. For some reason, on this one particularly, it messes up. Even though I have plat or uh, I've painted those specific background walls to have the shadow but it looks pretty good on most of them there's a couple of them like this one right here that needs a little bit more of the black going on on it but yeah the survivalist is correct look at all the, all of these blue holes are all the holes i added so that the natural light can come in so if you have tips and tricks for that let us know because we definitely need it i have a few ideas of how to fix it using some just detailing around the holes but it obviously won't fix what it looks like on the map, I'm pretty sure. My only other big thing I have that kind of looks a bit wonky about this, and this right here is a great example of what I'm talking about, is just the sharp angles that these background walls create when at the edge of the mountain. And kind of how this looks kind of weird to have these foreground tiles right here just connect into... They're supposed to look like they connect into the background but it really doesn't so i think eventually excuse me if i catch my if i can catch my breath i think eventually i'm going to actuate all of these wood supports hopefully that'll make it look good and paint them so that that weird like shadow effect that goes on actuated blocks can go away but yep Apologize for the uh, lagginess it looks like that's going on right now. We're not great getting a, a decent amount of frames uh, I'm not so sure why I am But yep, we just want to take this opportunity to update you guys on the progress of the mountain and kind of do a little bit of an outro so uh, Thank you all for joining us for this episode. Hopefully the next episode has even more progress done and Hopefully in the next one. We'll also fight the eye of Cthulhu, right? Uh, survivalist yep yep what's your uh what's your uh plan for fighting the eye of cthulhu well we should be ready uh while we were building this he spawned a couple times so i just want to see how far i could do it in and i was pretty good yeah i didn't really focus <laughs> on it but yeah uh so i had Enemy spawns turned off. I had it at 0% while I was trying to build this because I didn't want to get attacked by stuff. And the survivalist, I uh, I forgot to tell you that. So the survivalist had it cranked up to what? Uh, did you have it on just normal enemy spawn or enemy rate or was it at 24? Mine was... What was yours at? Normal. Okay. So, and then he, he boosted the time. I had time frozen at noon so I could, like, not be attacked by random stuff in the night as well. But he, he cranked up the time. So, I think the Thulu spawned naturally, like, three or four times. And you almost, I don't know, you got it down pretty far, and then it would just disappear. So, that was kind of funny. But, yep. Now that that little ramble's over, thank you all for watching this episode. Thank you again for uh, supporting this series. It means a lot to both the survivalists and I. And we will all see you in the next episode. And remember, every clone has its roots in the original. Bye. Bye.